tools that we're going to use in the demonstration of our termination of our LMR500 uh, cable with our new X-Series connectors are the CCT-02 cutting tool, the CST-500 prep tool, and the CT-500 crimp tool. It's a very simple process. First thing you want to do to get started is you take, you want a nice clean cut on the cable. You want to do it without crushing it. If you use a pair of linesman's pliers or cutting pliers or hacksaw, you know, you, you're kind of behind the eight ball just getting started. This will provide a nice clean square cut without crushing the cable. You take your tool, place it two to three inches back behind the end of the cable, apply a little bit of downward pressure and spin it around the cable. It'll quickly cut through the jacket and the braid and the dielectric. And what it'll do is it'll scribe the uh, center conductor and it'll just snap the center conductor. So what you'll end up with is a cable that's nice and round, remains nice and round, square, clean and round. Nice, good way to get started. At that point, what I want to do is the, the connector comes with an adhesive lined heat shrink boot, three to one shrink boot, atom shrink boot. You place that over the cable. You take your crimp ferrule, you place that over the cable, like so. You take your CST-500 tool, there's side one and side two. Make sure there's nothing left stuck in the tool from the last time it was used. Place side one over the cable, like so. You start to push on that thumb switch and you start to spin it around the cable. And once that thumb switch is all the way depressed, make one extra revolution. Leave it depressed and just pull off the cable, pull it right off the cable. You take that pellet, clean off the cable, a nice exposure on the center conductor, nice clean sharp cut on the outer conductor. You flip it around to side two, and there's a deburr tool built into the end of the tool. You take that deburr tool, place it on and just back and forth maybe, you know, half a dozen times, you, and you end up with a nice chamfer on the center conductor. The chamfer is important in terms of installing the pin. In this case, this is a spring finger contact, beryllium copper spring finger, so we don't want any mushrooming on the end of the cable. Now, you're still on side two with this tool. You want to make sure that your tool is set for crimp with this thumb switch right here. It's like an old-fashioned pencil sharpener. You just turn the tool. You're going to feel a little bit of resistance. You spin it until it spins freely. You'll feel it spin freely just like that. And you're all done. You pull that tool off and you got a nice prep there. At this point, we'll take our connector. As we mentioned, it's a spring finger, beryllium copper spring finger, no soldering. It also has a lot of other uh, nice characteristics about this, this connector. It's tri-metal plated, excellent corrosion resistance. It's been optimized for VSWR return loss. It has these ribs in the back that help with strain relief and weather sealing. Actually something to bite onto and melt, meld around. And maybe most importantly is all of these X-Series connectors for this size cable have all been designed to work with this tool, the CST-500 tool. So whether you're using a straight end, right angle end, a 7 16 din, a BNC, they all work with the same strip tool. So at this point, we'll just take these braid wires and just fold them back slightly. No need to comb them out. We get this connector. It's a nice snug fit already. Just placing it right over the core. You'll see it's a snug fit. That's by design. You push it forward. You'll feel a little bit of resistance. It's coming in contact with the center conductor. Just turn it, give it a little push. That's those fingers riding up on the center conductor. You take this ferrule now, bring the ferrule all the way forward, <clears throat> and you'll see the braid wires, they're right where you want them to be. No need to trim them with a pair of scissors. They're perfectly uh, positioned at that point. You take your CT-500 crimp tool, and you want to crimp this ferrule just once, and you want to crimp it as close to the back of the connector as possible. And the result will look just like this. You'll see a little bump in the back of the ferrule. That's by design. That's an overlap between the jacket and the ferrule. You don't want to crimp that. If you crimp that, you're going to crush the jacket. It's got nowhere to go. It's going to crush the core. It's going to alter the impedance of the cable and it's going to impact performance. So you want to leave it just like that. Now you take your adhesive line shrink boot, your three to one shrink boot, you bring it all the way up right to the back of the coupling nut. There's those ribs that we mentioned in the back. You heat that with a, a butane or, or a electric uh, heat source. You want to shrink it down to the point we actually see a little lip of glue oozing out both sides of the, uh, the boot. At that point, you've got an IP67 seal and you've got a nice strain relief. 
you know, with this method, with this easy style connector, no soldering, using this prep tool that gives you nice prep, you know, consistent prep dimensions every time, using this cutting tool method to prep the cutting of the cable. And what you're going to do is you're going to end up with very consistent results every single time. And that's what you want. Thank you very much.